the undefeated Central A&M Lady Raiders took on Tri-City Sagamon Valley in the Macon County Tournament Championship on Saturday night. And the Lady Tornadoes started out using their size, especially center Bethany Daniels. Just her size alone. Yeah. I mean, that's that is tough. You're, you're talking a kid that doesn't have to jump to block a shot, and I don't think she missed until late in the game. So that, that was pretty. Uh, that's what I wanted, and I thought we handled it pretty well for the most part. I don't know about everybody else. But I was definitely nervous. I was. I don't, I don't usually get nervous for games, big games like this. I was definitely nervous. The Lady Raiders, led by Taylor Jordan, kept attacking inside, and they got a boost from having their point guard Ryan Dooley back in the game. Um, I mean, I wasn't nervous. I knew we don't usually get nervous. We just got to stick together and just play like we normally do. You know, we came out trying to pressure the ball, um, denied post feeds, and uh, I thought their uh, triangling too to start the game was a little through us a little bit. Yeah. Uh, until we started knocking down shots, it was effective. Uh, when we hit shots, then it spread them out, and I thought uh, we kind of we kind of took over from there. In the first quarter, when the Raiders hit shots, the Lady Tornadoes always had an answer. But A&M kept up their pressure defense, and that led to easy buckets. Morgan Damry got this put back in the first quarter. And A&M definitely learned a few things. Uh, that we definitely need to box out and maybe grow a little bit, but I mean that would help. But definitely just pressure from the start on the guards. A&M kept up the pressure, and they started knocking down threes. The Raiders certainly got a boost from having Ryan Dooley back on the floor, who missed the first two games of the tournament with an ankle injury. It's so nice to have her. It's just, she's like, I mean, she's our leader, and she just handles the ball so well, and it's so nice to have somebody like that. Dooley came out and didn't miss a beat, scoring seven points in the first half. It feels good to get her back in. Uh, I didn't think she had any ill effects from the ankle, and, and uh, I thought she played hard. Uh, it feels great. I like felt like I was chained to a chair forever, but it feels awesome playing. But in the first quarter, the Tornadoes stayed with the Raiders. That is until A&M kept hitting their threes. They made six in the second quarter alone. Raider Nation was out in force supporting their team. And it seemed like AM couldn't miss from three. The Lady Raiders opened up a 30 to 17 lead at the half. And didn't slow down in the second half. Powered by Abigail Hilton in the third quarter. Ryan Dooley talked about what was said at half. That we really needed the pressure more because the pressure is what we're pretty good at and that um, we just need to make it harder for the post to get it because once they got it, they made almost every shot. Both teams seemed to score at will in the third quarter as A&M scored 23 points and Tri-City scored 19. But it was the high-powered offense of the Raiders that got them going and opened up the big lead. Even with the Raiders scoring 23 points in the third, Beth Daniels scored 12 points on her own in just the third quarter. That's what we knew we were going to have to guard Beth Daniels. Uh, we knew that before the tournament started. And we just tried to get into the bigs and try to stop them. And then pressure the guards so they couldn't get it into the, the bigs. That's what we said in the, before the game that we were going to have to have really good defense. And besides her 25 points, I thought that we did pretty good. Tri-Cities Daniels scored 25 points in the game, but the Lady Tornadoes had no answer for all of the Lady Raiders. Abigail Hilton scored six points in the third quarter and finished with eight in the game. And AM rolled to the easy victory. Coach Dooley talked about how I mean, we're going to see some bigs in the postseason, hopefully, and we're going to have to be tested and see like what how we can do against it. And so this game was definitely a huge factor in what's happening later. As most of the starters rested for the fourth quarter, AM went on to win. No, it's, this is our fifth year, so that's unbelievable. It's so cool, and it's just a good feeling. Central AM took the Macon County title for the fifth straight year and are still undefeated on the season. I mean, we just have to keep on playing as if we're not, and we have huge targets on our backs, and uh, I mean, we just have to work hard and practice and everything. Coach Dewey talked about the girls' focus. This next game, 
these kids are, are business-like. I mean, the coaches, we talk about some things, but the girls, no, it's just, it's, we got we got Warrensburg Monday. I'm sorry, Argentina Monday.